All right, guys, welcome back to Persona 5. Last time we met Persona 5, Akechi revealed that he already knew we already knows that we're Phantom Thieves, and oh, Sojiro also found out we're Phantom Thieves. So, yeah, we we got a lot going on. We had a lot going on last part. Um, we also confessed our love to Yusuke, but it didn't work out that well because Ryuji stopped us from doing that. Um, but this part, I think, is actually more story goddamn. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be saying that a lot right now. <laughs> Well, um, actually, though, we do find out our tar next target, even though we already know who it is, because Sai told us who it is earlier. It is literally herself. That was convenient. Considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, so Okumura. I report you to the police and they arrest you. I supposedly get thirty million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. But uh, Even people uh, whatever. Didn't have an interest before. We'll be on the lookout for the phantom thieves, and it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? I see. Yeah, literally, we didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> All that happened was that our phone took us to another world, and next thing you know, I'm suddenly a phantom thief. bad about what we've done to the chief I'm responsible too did you see that reward <laughs> perhaps we put too much pressure on them with this the phantom thieves have become public enemy number one <laughs> exactly that will be when their curtain falls Great. Feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. They're finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjet. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah. The enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashidan too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. She would... It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fad around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. For us 
President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru... It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> on things doesn't help anyone especially my couch hey, what do you think what did we lose what did we do wrong it's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves agreed at the time we only cared about the opinion of the general public yeah that really is it i was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong when our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I was so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up. And that I was a complete idiot, too. But still, it's so damn frustrating. Of course I want to do something about this. Yes. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. Or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Yeah. All he did was stand up and look at all of them. I didn't even see his lips move. <laughs> So to me, it just looked like he just stood up and like, and like they're all like, yes, let's do that. Motivational speech, Joker. Motivational. Social links. I mean, confidants, fuck. Nice. Confidants? Confidants. <sighs> tomorrow. Actually, not tomorrow. I think tomorrow's the. I think tomorrow. I think today's the day we discover the palace. Up, oh, David Cross.
but their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once. So are you saying... Are you saying we should just nuke Japan and end it and end it all? Party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested. Hey, me. fuck you! But this I don't vote. Pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future, and someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? No, shut up! Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai San's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai -san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Really? Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? Are you saying the police would do such a thing? Yeah. They're more trusted Th than I they would. <laughs> is the it's like you expect the police to solve crimes or something. is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make sai -san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. I wonder whose it be, though. Ethics won't stand for it. I mean, I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai San's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. <laughs> She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing sai -san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Yeah, I think it's a pretty bad deal. Odo, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. 
I'm flattered to hear that. But won't you need help finding who the true culprit is, you fucking moron? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? How some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar. Hmm. Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai San's heart? <laughs> it's not about lies. I wish there was a no prompt and it just went straight to the game over screen. That'd be funny as hell. He's like, oh, well then I'm sorry, but you're under arrest. <laughs> It just cuts straight to the game over screen and you failed. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me. So I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry. I actually have plans today. Alright, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and get your phone ready. We're going to, <laughs> we're going to the palace either way tonight. Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. So Morgana, does that mean I get to hang out with a confidant today? Isn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Can I go out tonight? No, shut up. What? No, shut up, Joker. Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus! It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. I've been talking this entire you arrested. A man at the scene told you that you were Whatever. Dead, correct? But your words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point. No, most likely from the start. 
I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that. <laughs> you tell her too. About 90% of the internet would want me to <laughs> say that's impressive, huh? I thought you'd like that. Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. This is important. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, we were targeting Nijima because Goro Akechi wants to and, you know, various stuff he explained earlier and because the game won't let us. <laughs> and the game won't let us do anything else. I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy. Um, the 20th already passed. You might want to be a little more specific. 20th of what? November? December? January? February? October? So we missed it nine days ago, right? We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? What about my smartphone? Oh. This is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Uh, Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. Is <laughs> Yuji smiling? Well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You know, how many times is this bond rating gonna go up this week? We get a baton pass, and follow up, and detective talk, and Harrison recovery. Yeah, so since Akechi is now joining us for battles, he actually will get his, he does get his, um, baton pass and all that stuff. Any 
shall we get started? <laughs> we need to figure out what Makoto Sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling then. How about a Evo. track for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? The price is right. I knew it. What else is there? It must be a casino. I definitely see Saison in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. That's a smooth as fuck transition to a loading screen. <laughs> Sorry, I had to mention that. Ooh, anime. Head right past it and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going what is on it? here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. Joker, what part of silent protagonist do you not get? Silent means shut up. Oh, hey, we're back at the beginning of the game, guys. Does that mean I get all those up? Does that mean we get a persona that automatically kills <laughs> mini bosses in three, in three hits? No? Okay. Seems to be a normal cityscape. Bad? That... The police station, yes. I did that somehow seems like an important detail that, that we should keep into consideration. Like, somehow, the metaverse is going to be used for us to get out of that interrogation room. Nah, that seems crazy. What kind of bullshit plot device is that? I've already spoiled it like 18 times anyway. also part of her work area though whenever arrests are made for her cases i brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police we got no business with the cops right this might be the metaverse i don't want to go in a station that reminds me he'll need a code name too code name phantom thieves can't go around using the real names right it ain't cool either just for reference what is everyone else's Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? Yeah, that's how we. Oh, you idiots. Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. But little are bitch. Are all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our code names are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. Be the only Japanese sounding one. If we went with you with Ryuji's Abarage, it'd be Yusuke too. From here on out, you're crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. How about a little how about a little how about pancakes? How about waffles? You mother Akechi just punches me at that point. So yep, yeah, Akechi is now part of our party. Except he's not in the party. <laughs> he needs to be added in. So yeah, Akechi's level 45 by default, which is bull. He should be level 42. I hate the fact that he's three level high, three levels higher than me. I hate this game. <laughs> Quit reminding me that everyone's better than me. By the way, this is the best palace theme in the game. You can't change my mind. 
This is the only palace theme that doesn't have two versions, but it and also it is, has lyrics in it. This this theme, Whims of Fate, is honestly my favorite theme in this game, next to Life Will Change. I'm I am speaking lyrical, of course. In terms of instrumentals, I don't really know what my favorite one is. I want to say Willpower. In terms of battle themes, I know it's Willpower. I love that theme. Um, I guess in terms of like environmental pieces, like. Uh, I don't really have one. Persona 5 soundtrack is just great overall. <laughs> and yeah, that made the in screen. And, and to be honest, it made the in screen a bit of a challenge for me in terms of choosing the music to play. What? But I figured something out. I just play the chorus. Yeah, but this is the last you jack off. Okay, thank you, Morgana, for being specific, unlike Akechi over here, who can't tell me what month it is, and just says, the 20th. Let's go. How do I know it wasn't gonna be August of t August 20th of next year? God! Jerk. <laughs> and I say I like Goro Akechi, and I'm treating him like shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> just, wow, get out, Haru. No one likes you. <laughs> Why did I change to Yusuke? We only have one battle during this. <laughs> this theme is also the reason I should never go to Las Vegas, because I'm pretty sure it'd be the first piece of music I play when I get there. Actually, no, that is kind of... I actually did do that unintentionally. <laughs> I just realized that. Um... Last year, I think, um, I went to a convention, and my, my mom and I went to a convention. Well, really, I went to the convention. My mom just did something else. Um, and we stayed in a hotel, but the hotel was um, next to a casino. Um, I didn't go to a casino because technically I'm not old enough. I'm only 20. Um, and I believe you need to be 21 to enter casinos. Um, they say you can enter when you're 18, but really, people just go when... They, it's just kind of like an unspoken thing that people just go in when you're 21. Oh. Um, that's... Sh yeah, that's size shadow. That is certainly a shadow. Um, but like... I remember, because I took a console, I don't remember, I think it was my... I'm pretty sure it was my PS4. And I actually played Persona 5... <laughs> during the night before the convention and i think i was actually at size palace during the during that so that was a huge coincidence that i kind of forgot happened i actually kind of that convention though that convention was really fun i got crom i got a replica of crom sword at that convention i love it to this day like it's like right behind me and it's like a it's a real sword too, so I could use it, but I'm not going to because, you know, that's against the law. I mean, someone breaks in the house, you just see me coming in like a fire emblem character. <laughs> I just have to counter. We can take a breather here in this secure spot. Look at how he sits. Okay. It's like a little. <laughs> just ah oh man, I'm mean. I'm mean to Akechi for no reason, and I love Akechi for some reason. I love Akechi. He's one of my favorite characters in this game. But I just treat him so. I just treat him like crap. <laughs> I just I'm so mean to him in this let's play. Yeah, maybe in Royal I respect him. No, I won't. Yeah, a card for members. With a wine bottle? Yes. Oh.
Now, actually, what you're supposed to do for this battle is annihilate this shadow in one turn with a catchy. But you could be like me and just not do that. <laughs> Like, yeah, you're supposed to use, um, Megiddo on, um, to annihilate the shadow, but you could just be like me and, <laughs> and take Akechi's time to shine away. Yeah, I'm gonna make Joker kill him. As a m final screw you to a catchy. He didn't do anything! He didn't do anything! He just got enraged! He just went psycho. I mean, phrasing. <laughs> he didn't even do it. I'm not lying. He didn't do anything. God, I hate that awkward. I hate how awkward. It just looks like a catchy, like one more party member and a catchy's going to be going off of the grid. I think it does that in Royal, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. They've shortened. They made the logo. They made the icon smaller. <laughs> it would have been funny though if just like <laughs> Kasumi's is, um icon for the phone was just blatantly off of the phone screen. <laughs> okay. But I know Atlas is smarter than that. Oh. Okay. I'll just add this. So obviously we're not doing confidants today. What? Why my profiles change? Hmm, weird. Anyway, the next time we meet in Persona 5, um, we're going to be doing confidant parts for a while because we don't go to Nijima's Palace for a bit, I think. I don't remember. So we'll see you guys next time and take care. So we know.